This video is brought to you by Asus Mobi Unlock. It's a all-in-one tool to unlock any kind of iOS system lock from any iPhone, iPad or iPod touch models. If you forget your own iDevice password like 4 or 6 digit PIN, Touch ID, Face ID or your device is on the disable or passcode screen, you can use this tool and get all done very easily. This tool can support all the iOS version including the latest iOS 14. So you can check the description link and download the tool from there. After installing the tool, just open it and click on start. First you have to connect your device into the recovery mode or just follow the instruction on the screen. After that just simply click on start. First you need to import the IPSW of your device so import the latest IPSW that is currently signed. After that click on unlock and it will start unlocking your device. Now once it get done, just set up your device normally and your device will be completely unlocked. So if you are interested in this tool, you can check out the description link and check all the buying option of the tool and there are extra 10% discount on the monthly plan of the tool. So check the description coupon link for the complete information. Now let's come to the topic. Yesterday, Apple rolled out the iOS 14.4 public to all the devices that are supported by iOS 14 like iPhone 6s to the latest iPhone 12 series. So you can update directly from go to the journal and update section and update your device. Now I am running on the 14.4 latest on my iPhone SE first generation. So we will see in the video like how to jailbreak iOS 14.4 on Windows machine using the checkrange jailbreak. So without wasting any more time, let's start this video. Alright now the first thing you have to check the description blog link where you will find the ISO file of the checkrin 0.12.2 that is currently latest version. To jailbreak on windows mainly there are two methods one is the justitech checkrin ISO file that is modified by me and the second one is the checknix 1.1.6 version that is also currently latest version. So just check out the description blog link to download both these ISO files and if you want to see the dedicated video tutorial on these two files you can watch that too from the description link. Now for this method I will use my custom ISO file. First you need to extract the RAR file you have downloaded. After that you will get the ISO file and the Rufus tool inside that RAR file. You can use your own Rufus tool if you already have. So just open the Rufus tool. And if you don't know what is Rufus tool, it's a tool that can create the USB flash drive bootable. So you can download the tool from the official website. Now the next thing you will need a USB pen drive. So just insert the USB pen drive after it will detect from the Rufus tool. Now you need to import that ISO file of the checkrin you have just downloaded. So just give that path and select the ISO file. Now after that just click on open. It will import the ISO file you have just downloaded. So now after that you have to select your partition scheme. This ISO file support both MBR and the GPT partition type. So if you are on the Intel AMD 32 bit 64 bit or if you have a old PC with the old legacy BIOS or if you have a new PC with the UEFI mode. It will work for all the PC so you can try this method. If you are still getting error with this method you can try the Checknix method that will also work. Now the process is done, just simply close the Rufus tool and restart your PC. After that you have to go to your BIOS section or a boot manager section. So for that the keys must be different. So you can go to the Google and search it according to your PC model. You will get the shortcut key of your BIOS settings or a boot manager settings. After that you have to select your pendrive from it and you can directly boot it. Most of the laptop have F2, F10, F12 or F11 BIOS shortcut key. So you can google it according to your PC model and you will get the shortcut key from there. Now this ISO file support both UEFI mode and the old legacy BIOS. This is the new UEFI mode for the latest laptop so you can boot it from directly and if you have a old laptop you can use the old legacy BIOS. Now the latest checkrin 0.12.2 is run. Now if you have a old PC that have only have the legacy BIOS not the UEFI mode you can run this ISO file and boot it from the legacy BIOS also. So this is the legacy BIOS option. And after the clover you don't have to press any key it will automatically load the check rain. So just wait for that and it will load the check rain after the 5 seconds. Now everything is set, now let me just connect my device and Checkrin is only supported by iPhone 5s to iPhone X, 
iOS 12 to the latest iOS 14 and 14.4 so you can jailbreak these device only above X model like XR, XX Max and other stuff they are not supported by Checkrain so you need to wait for the Uncover or Odyssey to update for the iOS 14 to exploit these device to jailbreak. Now on the screen you will see the iOS 14.4 is not supported so for that just go to the option and allow the untested iOS option from the first and if you have a A11 device like iPhone 8, 8 plus and X you have to allow the skip A11 BPR check then click on start and on the warning click on ok. Now the other process is similar now you need to just put your device into DFU mode so for that just follow the instruction on the screen it will display the BFU mode combination key as per your device so just follow the instruction everything is written on the screen so just follow it and it will put your device into DFU mode. Now after that you will see the progress bar that means your jailbreak is start. So after all done that means your jailbreak is successfully done and your device will be automatically boot up. So wait for that. Now it's all done that means the jailbreak is done. So click on continue and you can remove the cable now. Now after that just open your device and wait for the check in loader it will appear on your home screen. So just turn on your Wi-Fi and connect to the network and after that you will see the check in loader on your home screen. So it will appear on the 5 to 10 seconds so you have to wait for that. Now the check in is here just click on that and open it. Now you need to click on Cydia and install it. Now Cydia is installed and it will appear on your home screen. If it's not showing just go to the app library and search for Cydia it will show there. Sometimes the Cydia and the check in loader will automatically go into the app library section. Now it's working fine and as you can see I am on the latest iOS 14.4 on my iPhone SE first generation. So you can install Cydia like this. And as I told you if it's not appear on your home screen just go to the app library section and search it and you will get the Cydia there. Now everything is set. You can also update the required packages just open the Cydia and do the complete upgrade and it will update all the required packages. Now after that just click on the restart springboard. Now everything is set, the jailbreak is done and CDI is working good. So you can install any tweaks and customize your device like installing themes and other stuff. And if you want me to make the dedicated video on the top tweaks and the top themes, you can comment down below, I will make that. And also one more important thing, if you reboot your device, you will lose the jailbreak because Checkrain is a semi tethered jailbreak. So after every reboot, you have to jailbreak it again. So for that, you can watch this video and it will save your jailbreak after the reboot also. So that video link in the description, you can watch that. Now going back to the windows, just quit the Checkrain app. And on the terminal you will type reboot command and hit on enter and it will restart your PC. After that just unplug your pen drive and then you are safely back to your windows machine. So that's all for this video. I hope you like the content. If you have any question comment down below. I love to answer that. So till then goodbye take care and peace out.